Water flow chart is a visual representation of the net changes between the start and end points of a cumulative value. It shows each unique increase or decrease value that created the net change. We can use this chart for different purposes such as checking accounts, inventory, products, revenue, etc. Hey there Excel enthusiasts, welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VBA related challenges. I'm Shahriya Rabra Rafid and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to create a waterfall chart in Excel. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Here we have a data set containing the values of sales flow for six consecutive months and the start and end values of sales. We'll show you two handy methods of creating a waterfall chart using this data set. In our first method, we'll use the built-in waterfall chart feature in Excel. Select cells in the B4 to C12 range and then go to the Insert tab. In the Charts group of commands, click on Insert Waterfall, Funnel, Stock, Surface or Radar Chart drop-down icon. Select Waterfall Chart. A nice waterfall chart is created. Now, we'll show you how to format a waterfall chart in Excel. First, click on the chart title to change it. Change it to Sales Flow. Double click on the End bar. The Format Data Point toolbar will open. Check the Set as Total option. Next, select the Start bar here. Similarly, turn on Set as Total for this column also. Finally, you got your desired waterfall chart by using Excel's built-in waterfall chart feature. We can also use a stacked column chart to create a waterfall chart in Excel. Stacked column charts can show the variation of multiple variables in the most suitable way. First, I'll add three additional columns in between the particulars and sales flow columns. Select column C to column E, right click on them, click on insert option. Three columns are inserted. Now, I'll name them as base, fall, and rise. Select cell D5 and insert a formula. Plus an equal sign, insert the if function as the logical test argument. I'll place a5 less than or equal to 0, comma, for value if true argument minus a5, comma, for value if false argument, I'll place 0. Close the parenthesis. Here, we use the if function to check if the value of cell f5 is positive or negative. If the value is less than 0, it will return the negative value of cell f5. Otherwise, it will return 0. Press enter to get the value of fall. Then, drag down the fill handle tool to autofill the formula for the rest of the cells up to cell d11. Select cell e5 and insert another formula. An equal sign, insert e function as the logical test argument f5 greater than 0 comma as value if true argument f5 comma as value if false argument I'll insert 0 closing the parenthesis here the if function checks if the value of cell f5 is positive or negative if the value is greater than 0 it will return the value of cell f5 otherwise it will return 0 press enter and drag down the fill handle tool to cell e11 Thus, you'll get all the values of rise. Select cell C6 and insert the formula equal to C5 plus E5 minus D6. Here, we added the values of cell C5 and cell E5 and subtracted the value of cell D6 from E to get the value of base for January month. Press Enter and drag down the fill handle tool to cell C12. Now, I'll format them as currency format. Select cells in the C5 to E12 range in the number group of commands. Click on number format drop down icon. Select currency. To reduce the places after decimal, click twice on the decrease decimal icon. All the base, fall, and rise values are calculated now. 
Now select data in the B4 to E12 range and then go to the insert tab. In the charts group of commands, click on insert column or bar chart drop down icon. Select 2D stacked column option. Now you can see the stacked column chart before us. Click on the chart title to change it. Change it to sales flow. Double click on the base series. The format data series task pane will open. Next, go to the fill and line tab. After that, select no fill as fill and no line as border. Close the task pane. Right click on any bar of the fall series. Click on the fill drop down and then select any color. Here, I am selecting red from the standard colors. Right click on any bar of the rice series. Click on the fill drop down icon and I am selecting green from the standard colors. Click twice on the start column first. Then right click here. Click on the fill drop down and then select any color. Here I will select the blue gray text to color from theme colors. Now apply the same color to the end column in a similar way. Finally, your waterfall chart is ready to present. Remember, the built-in Excel waterfall chart is only available in Excel 2016 and above versions. Previous versions do not have this feature. In this tutorial, we have shown two useful ways to create a waterfall chart in Excel. Use the one which comes in handy for you. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. If you like this video, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.